Uh, sorry? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> get ready for the cricket feeder or the lever. This is why I don't do it. <laughs> played under William Porterfield the most, I'd say, and I think um, he's the type of bloke that would do anything before asking you to do it, so I think I'd follow him into the, into the sort of fire. I don't actually use my phone that much, so I would probably look up BBC News every morning and then put it away for the day. <laughs> Very boring. I think we played a World Cup when the World Cup was here. I know we did, the team didn't end up doing too well, but always Playing in World Cups is very special, so having one in the UAE was amazing. Uh, my first game was in uh, Abu Dhabi Stadium, just outside, so to make your debut in a stadium as well is very memorable. Uh, definitely sort of left pad before right most of the time. Um, I always seem to pop a caffeine pill just before I go out to bat, which when you get a golden duck, uh, it doesn't seem to help that much when you're full of energy in the sheds. Yeah, I think that's just the challenge, isn't it? I, I think it's accepting failure as well. You know, you're you're not going to come off every time. It's difficult to, to to score at a high strike rate and also not get out. It's not, it's virtually impossible unless you're having a an unbelievable year or season. So that's the plan: is to try and get up, try and get the team off to a good start, but not be reckless with it. And um, you still need to have some wickets in hand at some point to try and take make use of as the season goes on, as the innings goes on. So it's all working that out. Witness all your favourite T20 stars. Action in the IL T20 League, exclusively on Z Network. Introducing DP World IL T20. Ek dhamagadar nai league. Jaan pidenge dunya bhar ke T20 heroes. Z5 par.